There's a new feature in Microsoft Teams called Live Components. It allows us to collaborate together on a document or a task list in real time through the chat window of Microsoft Teams. Let's take in a scenario where let's say I want to plan a camping trip. So I'm going to initiate a chat with Bender and we're going to get together a task list. So I'll go into Live Components and you can see that I have a number of different choices of what I could do, but we're going to do a task list. And I'm going to go in, I could title it, I could begin putting some items in there, but I'm just going to send it as a blank live component over to Bender. And you'll notice that it synchronizes. And when it synchronizes, it'll be on both on my account and he'll receive a notification. He can accept the chat. And now you can see that it's at both locations. So both mine and Bender's computer are both showing this shared document, this live component. And as we go through and start working on the task list, Anything that's typed on one end of the chat will appear on the other end of the chat as we build this document together. Now, you'll notice that the initials appear next to whoever's doing the typing. So if we had several people involved, we would be able to see everybody's contribution and we'd be able to see the initials as they were typing them in. So that gives me a, a good way of seeing who's typing in which element and we can discuss it. Now, another thing that's really handy to be able to do is once I put in these components, of course, we can edit each other's uh, input. I can also go in and I can put an assignee in there. So either I could say I want to do this task or I could say you do need to do this task. And you'll notice again that it, is, it appears as an attendee. We can go in and see who has access here. We can go in and we can get a link to this conversation. I can go in and there's a number of other tasks I can do like with any chat, share it out to Outlook or go into some of the other actions here like create a meeting or you know start doing new polls and different types of actions that we have in there. I can actually have more than one live component running at the same time. So here I have this chat with this task list. I'm going to start a new checklist. So we'll have a little checklist where we're going to, you know, things that we have to consider. And now we can both collaborate on both of these live components at the same time. So I'll start this off. I'll send it off to Bender here. He will receive notification. Well, he'll just receive it in the chat that this things to consider is there. Maybe I'll put in some sort of uh, element, you know, like we're going to need to get some, I don't know, radios or something. So I'll put that in there. It'll synchronize up to Bender. He will now see that I've initiated a new live document that we have things to consider. He'll say, well, we need some batteries if we're going to have some radios in here. And then that will, when he sends it, will go directly over to me and I will see it in there as well. So now we're collaborating there as well. And if I go back to the old one, so let's say, for example, I want to add a new task to the old live component. It's still part of this chat. If you didn't see the live component icon in your installation of Microsoft Teams, it could be that you're not enrolled in the public preview. Check out this video where I talk about how to enable public preview for yourself and users in your organization. See you in the next video.